St. Monica was a 4th century saint, possibly best known for her son, Augustine of Hippo, uh, but we know a lot about her because uh, Augustine, Augustine, uh, wrote in his confessions about his own uh, reforming of his life, becoming a Christian, and the influence that his mother, Monica, had on him. So, I begin to paint Monica of Hippo. For starters, we need to find uh, an image uh, and look for uh, traditions in those images. Uh, so, uh, because uh, she's uh, a woman, she usually will be wearing a headdress. Um, and I like these two images that I've looked at from the internet uh, and will compile something from both of them. Uh, in this one, is there's a simplicity about this, although the colours aren't very exciting. In each of them, as is in common, is common for uh, icons of Monica. There is she's holding a, a script, uh, a verse from uh, the Psalms. So it'll be interesting to choose which verse to uh, uh, to put on uh, her uh, little scroll, because I'd like to include that. But I'm going to uh, begin with a a very small sketch to get the composition um, as, as I want it. Um, I don't think this will be too difficult. I won't do too much experimenting. I'll do a, f a fairly common one uh, where I uh, will place the head in the top third of the image and that will bring um, it into into good proportions and I do this commonly but I'll just look I'll just have a go at uh, placing it a little larger making a large uh, head so that the chin comes to something like the halfway down the image um, but it's yeah there's not going to be room for the scroll for the verse of the psalm um, so I've pretty well decided very quickly that I don't want that um, trying some colours now. Just uh, just using water with these colours: Venetian red, ultramarine blue, and for a background of unbleached titanium, which is a nice pale yellow without much chroma in it. But I'll try these on the image of choice, um, and I think the uh, main garment will be the Venetian red. Uh, the undergarment and wimple uh, will be the ultramarine um, and that the veil will be mainly uh, just white uh, but with with some stripes in it as in the the first of the images that I looked at and the background will be that titan uh, unbleached titanium it's very handy pigment so let's translate that onto my sketch pad. I've put up both images. Uh, I like the veil in this in the first one in that that blue veil. I prefer that shape. You can't see the other one <laughs> too well. I'm sorry, uh, but it has some interesting stripes in it which I'd like to to use. I think also in that second image. Uh, there is an undergarment and I think that will create interest and I also like the shape of the little scroll uh, that has the, uh, the verse on it in the second image. In the first image uh, Monica is holding a cross and I think I'll do that rather than in the second image where her hand is, is uh, pointing towards the uh, the psalm verse. So, as uh, usually happens with this, I have a pair of dividers, making sure that uh, uh, the proportions 
happen correctly, that everything is based on the length of a head. So the head is divided into four, uh, so that the eyes are halfway between the chin and the top of the head. The nose is a quarter length of the head. The eyes are a quarter length of the head apart. The uh, shoulders are three quarters of a head, uh, going from a third of a head below the chin and across the chest. The arms are at the uh, at a head length down from the chin. Uh, one, a uh, two head length across from uh, beam to beam. The hands are not full length hands, so uh, just pay attention to that. They go to the knuckle, so that there'll be something like well, a hand is three quarters of a head. So it'll be three eighths to the knuckle. This uh, sketch is going in at uh, uh, four times the normal speed and uh, it looks much simpler when it's done quickly. Well, we've made a start on the new project of painting an icon of Santa Monica of Hippo. Next time we'll transfer the image onto a panel. Thank you for watching and you might like to click the thumbs up uh, symbol underneath this video for uh, if you like it. You might like to leave a comment, you might like to subscribe. There's a little bell if you push all of those buttons you'll get notified when the next uh, exciting instalment uh, comes onto YouTube.